What's the meaning of love? According to the ancient pictograph audio. I've got it for you here, come on. Shalom, my friends. Someone asked me to do a, uh, a study on the word love in the first covenant, the most uh, common uh, word for love, most often seen, is um, Strong's H157 or 160. Uh, same word both times. It's the word Ahav. Check this out. And we have Aleph, He, and Beit. Aleph, that's the father. It could also be uh, referring to the, uh, the man uh, in a relationship, being the leader in the headship. And um, it points at being yoked. Uh, to him. The other letter on the outside, and you know, by the way, you know, I, I you always see me doing this. I take the two letters on the outside, and the letter in the middle is the heart of the word. Um, that's uh, something I picked up along the way. It could be, um, I mean, you know, it works well, but I'm not sure it's the Father's way. It uh, could be man's way, um, although I'll continue doing it because uh, it doesn't uh, interfere with any sense of adding to or taking away from his word. Um, however, uh, I just want to remind us, you know, let's not be bound by that idea. There are times where I'll look at the audio um, and uh, whether... I go right to left or left to right or, you know, even mix them up any way you want. It's going to paint the same picture. So, um, at any rate, the other word on uh, the outside is Beit. And that's talking about the family, the house, the tent. We want to pitch our tent with Elohim. This is a maybe one of the, the strongest and most common threads throughout the Father's Word is this idea of pitching your tent with Him, or pitching a tent with Him. It would be pitching His tent, you know, with Him. Building your house with Him. Helping Him build His house with you. This is like... One of the most important concepts to grab onto, it's, it's all over the place. Whenever uh, we do these studies with the Odeot, it's always coming up this about pitching a tent or about securing, you know, the letter wall, the tent peg, securing your, your place with him, uh, securing your tent with him, not with the world. So anyway, uh, I digress a bit. We have uh, Aleph. And Beit, that's the, um, the headship being yoked to the headship, whether it's a woman being yoked to her husband as her headship, or us being yoked to uh, Elohim, or Abba, Father, he's our headship, and our house, uh, the pitching of the tent with him, or in, in the case of a woman pitching her tent with her husband, them pitching their tent with Elohim, with Abba, Father, most important. And then the heart of the word, uh, that beautiful uh, audio of uh, worship, uh, praise, awe for the Father. <clears throat> so uh, whether 
uh, this word ahav, love, having to do with yoking yourself to the Father, pitching your tent with Him, and worshiping Him. Uh, yoking yourself to Him, pitching your tent with Him, by worshiping Him and being in awe of Him. Or, you know, if it's a relationship with a man and a woman, she is yoking herself to her headship, her husband. They are pitching their tent together through worship and awe of Abba Father. You know, uh, my daughter, Michelle, I wasn't in her life. She wasn't in my life for many, many, many years. It's been about seven years now that we've come back together. And uh, right off the bat, in the very beginning, the first thing I did was to express my love to Abba Father by obeying his command to teach his word to my child. And uh, Michelle came back into my life, I came back into her life, and I built our relationship from day one seven years ago on to now by um, her and I pitching our tent with Abba Father, with Yahshua, uh, with his indwelling Ruach, us pitching our tent with Elohim. And that is the only true form of love. And um, our relationship is, uh, it's indescribable. It's, um, it is so Baruch by Abba Father because of love, because of us recognizing who our headship is and us pitching our tent uh, through worship and awe of Abba Father. And um, also by me recognizing my headship with my daughter and her recognizing me as her headship, as her daddy. Um, but that all being focused on awe and worship of Abba Father. Now, in the renewed covenant, take a look at this one. We have the word rechim, and that is resh, chet, and mem. Rechim. And we see this in uh, Philippians, that's Philippim, chapter 4, uh, verse 8. We see uh, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is righteous, whatever is clean, whatever is lovely, rachim, whatever is of good report, if there's any uprightness, if there's any praise, think on these. Meditate on that one, my friends. You want to keep yourself in good spirits? You want to experience more joy in your life? Obey. <laughs> Obey the commandment of Philippians 4, 8. In uh, Romans, that's Romeim, chapter uh, 9, verse 25. We see, uh, I shall call them my people who were not my people, and her beloved, who was not beloved, beloved, Rechim. In uh, John, that's Yochanan. Chapter 14, uh, verse 21, Yeshua is talking. He who possesses my commands and guards them, it is he who loves me, Rechim. And he who loves me, Rechim, me, shall be loved, Rechim, by my Father. And I shall love Rechim, him and manifest myself to him. Meditate on that one, my friends. He who possesses my commands and guards them, it's he who loves me. And he who loves me shall be loved by Abba Father. And I shall love him and manifest myself to him. You want to see Yeshua manifest himself to you? 
possess his commands, guard his commands. And um, there's a, a bunch of references in Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 and 36, chapter 15, verse 22, chapter 17, verse 15, chapter 20, verses 30 and 31. But uh, here we have Rechim, Resh, Chet, Mem, Resh, your headship. Again, very similar to Ahav. Um, and then on the other side we have Mem, which is, represents water, the word, blood, Yeshua, the word. And um, the heart of the word is chet. Uh, chet is the, the fence, or um, uh, sometimes referred to as a gate. Yeshua is the gate. But um, it, uh, it's protection. It's a hug. <laughs> a hug from Yeshua, your headship of a father, especially. Uh, and Yeshua through Mem, the water and the word, uh, the blood. But um, this is recognizing Abba Father and Yeshua and wrapping yourself around that, you know. Uh, like Yeshua said, you know, he who guards my commands, you guard them, you, you hug them, you embrace them. Then he says, you know, I will manifest myself to you, and I will love you. What? He, he's going to hug you. He's going to wrap his arms around you. He's going to embrace you in his love and manifest himself to you uh, in that way. This is love, my friends. You know, um, people get into all the Greek words, you know. And the different, you know, this, this, you know, agape and all that. This is this kind of love. That's that kind of love. No, there's only one kind of love, and it doesn't, um, it doesn't have to do with you loving me and me loving you. It doesn't have to do with uh, me loving my daughter, her loving me. It doesn't have to do with uh, you know finding someone and building a relationship. It has to do with all those things, but only in the sense of pitching your tent with Abba Father, with His Son, with His indwelling Ruach, pitching your tent with Elohim and worshiping the Father in awe. It has to do with um, recognizing the Father and His Son as your headship and guarding their commands, embracing them. That's the only real love. I mean, you know, whether it's a, 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 a relationship between a man and a woman or relationship between a father and his child, if this concept isn't embraced, if it's not Elohim that's being embraced, then there really is no love. If I'm trying to build a relationship with my daughter, contrary to the way that I have, uh, forget about Abba, Father, forget about Elohim, and if I was just um, building my relationship with her, uh, being good to her and getting her to love me by being good to her, that's not love. That's not love at all. That's selfishness, and that's wanting uh, me to be her God and getting, I want her to worship me. I'm your father. <laughs> no, that's not love. Love is, hallelujah, what I did. Uh, we came back into each other's lives, and I immediately pointed at our headship, <laughs> Abba Father, and I shared his word with her, and I taught her, shared my love for him with her, which she embraced readily. You know, uh, when she was 10 years old, uh, we did spend a little time together here and there, and when she was 10 years old, um, she came uh, out of her bedroom one night. She couldn't sleep. She sat on my lap, and she, want, she asked me 
about Yahweh's son is Bain. And I answered her question. We prayed the prayer of salvation together. She prayed the prayer of salvation and received the, the indwelling Ruach. She remembers that moment. She felt it. She experienced it. And so that seed was planted early on. However, it wasn't until she was 30 years old that uh, we came back into each other's lives. Now she's 37. She's about to birth a child could be any day now. I'm about to become a grandfather. And boy, am I excited about this. But uh, yeah, see, I, I express true love to her because love, if you want to express love to anyone, it's, it's only done by pitching your tent with Elohim and teaching them to do the same. So if it's your children, teach them how to pitch your tent with him. If it's your wife, teach her that you are pitching a tent together. It's not your tent. It's The tent is not focused on you and her and the kids. It's focused on Abba Father, on Yeshua, on the indwelling Ruach. There, anything else is not love. I hope this uh, has been a beracha to you, my friends. Shalom. Son of man is. Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But I pose the question today now who do you 